Hey everyone, so today I'm starting with a clean face. All I did was wash my face with oatmeal soap and I'm using my shea butter formula and I'm using a very small amount all over my face and neck. This is very moisturizing so you need a smallest amount especially for the tropical climate I live in. I don't want my face too greasy. So I'm just rubbing it all in and I'm using my two foundations one is a couple shades lighter and the other is like one shade darker than me so I'm mixing them for the perfect shade and I'm just placing it all over my face and I'll blend it in after And I'm taking my orange concealer for spot treatment and for color correction. This cancels out darkness, so it's great for around the mouth and under eyes. This will help me to use less foundation and will aid in a much more natural look and a more sheer coverage. orange concealer is great for darker skin and a more peach color is better for lighter skin and I'm just rubbing it in with my fingers all over my face this is just what I do this is what I would do for every day although I don't wear liquid every day but if I am going to I just use my fingers it's easier faster and it looks better and then I'll just go back in with the same foundation and spot treat any areas that the foundation didn't cover fully and I'm not looking for perfect skin guys since it's everyday you want it to still look natural and it's okay for some blemishes to shine through and I'm making sure to pat it on the spots and not rub it because if you rub it it will remove the product instead of adding product so you just want to pat it lightly and it will be covered and I'm taking my concealer in a couple shades lighter than me as well and placing it under my eyes, my cupid's bow and my chin. This is just to highlight my face slightly and also cover my dark circles even further. So I'm just placing it with my fingers and now I'm taking my stipple brush to blend in the edges so that it moves seamlessly into my foundation. And I'm just patting it on once again so I won't rub the product on my face and remove the product. So patting motions are best. This brush is really great guys. And I'm taking a powder foundation in a shade lighter than myself and just using it to set my under eyes and all the parts that I applied lighter concealer. This is the mildest highlight since it's everyday I don't want to go all out banana powder you know. It's better for a more natural look. You just want to look like your best self not like a different person. And also to my forehead to reduce shine. So I'm making sure to blend it all in. And now I'm taking a darker powder and using this to contour my face, my cheeks, my forehead, my nose. This will just bring definition and dimension back into my face 
not necessarily to contour as much as to add definition. Naturally, our faces have lighter parts and darker parts, and when you put foundation on, it tends to flatten your face. So all I'm doing here is just bringing the dimension and the 3D-like look back into my face. So I'm making sure to blend it all out. We don't want any harsh lines and make sure it's blended. So now I'm taking my blush. This is a darker blush and I'm just placing it on my cheeks and slightly into my contour. This shade is perfect for darker skin. And making sure to blend it all in. I'm also placing a golden highlight on the tops of my cheekbones, my nose and my cupid's bow and also my chin. This just looks great in the sun. Blend it all in and you're good to go. I hope you enjoyed the look guys and learned something new. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!